painting harmony uh, this is gonna be part two and you can see this is uh, where we left off last time I added just actually just a little bit more painting to the face and the flesh um, but you can see we really haven't done much else now unfortunately for you at this part um, we're kind of at the uh, kind of at a boring stage of painting here so this is gonna be mostly uh, color blocking but uh, you know you'll be able to see the major colors come in for the model maybe we'll get to armor let's just see what uh, what we end up doing let me open up my uh, comment section so that we can see if anybody's gonna hop on and watch a little bit of painting here okay so uh, welcome back Cameron thanks for uh, tuning in um, yeah, so more harmony here. We're gonna. Um, I want to. I got some new colors at the uh, the game shop the other day, and I'm tempted to try them out. So, stormy blue is one of the colors I picked up. It's, I, I like it a lot. It's kind of a nice, rich, um, deep blue. So I'll probably use some of that. Um, and then she kind of has black leggings, so we're gonna do uh, heavy charcoal. Um, and then I'm gonna need a brown. I'm gonna need a good like basic brown to paint this in. Uh, lately I've been using this uh, camo medium brown which does the trick and it's thin enough to where it's gonna actually works really well with you know a basic Agrax earth shade wash. But anyway so so yeah let's uh, let's go ahead and get moving here. I guess what I will I will start with the uh, the black leggings. Okay, so so we'll do that. So this color isn't too different from uh, black gray from the Vallejo model color line, but I'm going to thin it out uh, so that it's. So that actually b behaves more like a, a little more, yeah. Just, yeah there's no, no snakes, down here. snakes, yeah. yeah. My son is down here with me, as you can hear. All right, so, oh, you okay, kiddo? Yeah. All right. I see one. Yeah. This is a rattlesnake? Cool. I think what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to use this medium gray and then <laughs> There's no rat. I don't see a rattlesnake down here. Do you? I do. You do? Hey, what are those things? I'm painting. Oh, these are my headphones. My headphones. headphones are so that uh, I can talk here in the microphone. You want to say hi? Yeah. Come here. Say hi. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Tell everyone what your name is. Octavius. What are you doing, Octavius? I'm playing. You're playing? What are you playing? Toys. Playing toys. Good. You play toys and daddy's going to paint a little bit, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how long this... Uh, We'll see how long this stream can go with my son playing toys behind me. We'll just see how. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start in with that medium gray. What's the matter, buddy? There's a king snake. But we like King Snake, don't we? <laughs> yeah. You see another vine snake? Yeah. That's cool. This is a, snake. A, a what snake? A charcoal snake? No, turkle snake. What's a turkle snake, Octave? Okay. But it's, it's amphibian, but it's a reptile. 
Wait, the turtle snake is an amphibian and a reptile? No. No? Okay. The mogo snake. I don't know what a mogo snake is, guys. Need to kill them all? Yeah. Don't kill all of them. Because yes, those some of those snakes aren't mean, Octave. Some of them are nice. Yeah. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. All right. So the idea here is we're gonna paint in these leggings this medium gray, and then I'm gonna shade it with that charcoal gray. Hi -ya. That's right, buddy. Okay. So we'll start there, and then we're we're gonna do the the majority of blocking out the colors, right? So so with that, we're going to move over to the Stormy Blue. <laughs> There's a snake upstairs. There's a snake upstairs, huh? Can you get the other cobra back downstairs? No, the, that cobra has to stay upstairs, bud. Yeah. So he started this dream thinking, thinking he was about to go down, but uh, as you can see, we were, were mistaken here. <laughs> Not a bad thing though. All right. Similarly, oh, these are fine. they're fine. These are fine okay. So similarly, I'm going to paint in uh, the blue of the blue tank top here. The snakes are our friends? Yeah. yeah. But they're going to be fine as well. Yeah. But these snakes are nice. Okay. Well, if you say they're nice, they're nice, right? Yes, they are. Hey, yeah. Are they going to bite these brown snakes? He might. But he's really tired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, our cat's lazy. He takes a lot of naps. Pretty much all cats are lazy, though, right, folks? Mm hmm. I don't know if you guys are hearing my son uh, on my headset. If my headset might, mic is picking up his growling, but. Uh, Yes, that is him, growling like a dinosaur in the background. No. Yeah? No. no. Just a dinosaur sound. Who's just making a dinosaur sound? This guy. Who's that guy? There's Zinosaurus. Yeah. Dinosaurs can't stand. Oh, he can't stand? Yeah. Maybe he's standing. He's standing? That's awesome, Octave. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? How do you get him back to the reptile zoo? You pick him up and you carry him to the reptile zoo. Okay. Okay? All right. <laughs> Yeah. So I guess the plan for this stream is I'm going to hurry up and do a little bit of color blocking so you can see where we're going and I'll get us ready for the next uh, stream because we're for sure we're going to part three because uh, this kid isn't going to sleep anytime soon. And I don't know if that's going to be tonight or if, uh, you know, I end up, I may actually Unfortunately, I may end up painting her um, 
more off camera because I do want to get her done for my uh, event on Sunday so so we may actually miss we'll miss her painting yeah three more to go but we're checking out this stormy blue that's a pretty cool color I'm liking it so far it's a you know it's like a deep blue it doesn't cover very well because it's a deep blue but if I were to rank it against some of my other like intense blue and that kind of thing it's about the same you know it still needs you can see it's still it's the first coat so it's pretty uneven in its coverage in fact I'm gonna I'm just gonna put that in there What's up, buddy? Just stay there. Just stay here? Just stay there. Are you going to protect me? Yep. What are you protecting me from? I'm not protecting you. No? I'm just, I'm just talking to you to be safe. You're just talking to me to be safe. Okay. Well, that works too. So let that, that layer of blue dry. Oh. Can I actually get this to focus is the next part. Oh. I cannot get this to focus to save my life. Maybe the light's too, too close. Wow. Focus doesn't seem to be working. There we go. Right? So far, that's what we got. <gasps> right, now let's get the brown down. Which is a lot of, like, utility around her. This model more so than the original Harmony. Because this model is like more of a support model, so. So I'm going to paint in the brown here. Right? Now, there is some obscurity right here around her hands. That's just the way that the model, the model was kind of weird in that it, you know, it's a double-handed sword grip, which is always kind of asking for it Why? in terms of a model. What is that? But uh, it, it's like they tried to alleviate that by sticking, sticking it, you know, sculpting it as one piece around a disc. And that disc just kind of lays flat against the the body of the model. And I don't. And I tried to pin it the way I would normally pin a hand, and it didn't quite work. Just the way that the join fits was a little strange, so it didn't quite. I'm just gonna. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix the. I gotta fig configure the. I'm gonna set the. Um, I'm gonna set the focus to right there. Okay, so now we can. Good. So now we actually have a good frame of reference. I can keep that model right there so that um, 
you know you can see actually see how it's being painted but right now it's not it's not terribly important I'm just color blocking so so if I can get most of this brown down She seems to be a lot more armored than uh, the previous uh, Harmony sculpt, but she still doesn't have any armor. She doesn't have an armor stat on her card, and I don't remember. I don't recall if uh, that Harmony gets protected brick uh, the same way that uh, uh, you know season one Harmony gets it. And then you've got like all these belts and stuff back here, which can all be brown. She's like legging some gear around, a lot more gear than the other Harmony. She's definitely, Season 2 Harmony is definitely more of a support piece and a really good compliment to, uh, to Hammer. You know, she helps Hammer with some of his in inherent weaknesses. For example, um, you know, she gives everyone, after she activates, she gives everyone a, within 4, a plus 1 defense against ranged attacks and character plays. So she takes... Um, one of the Mason's inherent weakness, which is low defensive stat, and increases it against ranged attacks because that's they you know, with that low stat, they end up being um, inherently vulnerable to ranged character plays and AOEs and that kind of thing. So they they don't do too well there. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of where that harmony comes in is she can help alleviate some of that uh, guild weakness you fix tide for you come here bring him over here okay here the tail came off bring it to me there we go make a quick repair Right. Right. The problem is trying to fit that tides wiring has to go in there. Right. He's not the last thing of Monster Island. What is? What is the last thing of Monster Island? Yeah. Okay. Okay. The tide is tide's tails upside down. Okay, there we go. There we go. There's Tide. There you go. I don't know why he named his motorized T-Rex Tide, but it's kind of cool. This is the biggest from Monster Island? Yeah.
Alright, so... Anyway... There's the brown. Okay. Looks like I've got all the brown down for the model. And now... Oh wait, uh, I should actually make these our armbands brown too. What's the matter, buddy? Yeah. I'm just like racing to get some of this done. But there you can see. She's starting to come together. I'm actually going to do a little more. And one more little layer of detail here on the skin before we uh, paint in the hair a little bit. Okay. Alright. So obviously she is the Scarlet Star, so we need to do um, red hair. And I have a formula for doing red hair. Hey, buddy. Hey, little guy. Is this yellow paint? That's, that is yellow paint. I'm but looking for... Yeah. I'm looking for orange. Why are you looking for orange? Because I need to do orange and a little bit of brown in it. What? Right? Like this. Is this, is this right? Okay, so we're going to do bright orange, and we're going to put one, just one little dot of uh, brown in it, right? Just really just one dot, and one dot of thinner medium. Doesn't really need to be, yeah, what's up bud? I'm painting. Just because it's been a while since I painted something, and I want to paint, want to paint something for fun. What is it gonna be? It's gonna be this character right here. It's here. Mm -hmm. I, mommy will like that. Mommy, mommy, mommy will like it. Yeah, mommy will love it. Mommy will love it. Wow. Well, that's exciting. All right, so I'm going to start, we're going to put this orange on, which is pretty thin, actually. So this is, this is that bright orange that I mixed a little bit of brown into. And it may not cover in, in one coat, but that's okay. We can always come back and give it another, another coat once this dries. But what I, you know, all I'm really trying to do before we shut this video, this stream down, is show you. Yeah, what's up, bud? There's no good videos? Okay, I'll find you a good video. I'll find you one, bud. Mm-hmm. Eyebrow could use a little love there. Also, this Harmony has much healthier hair than the weird squirrel haired one from season one.
Okay. Hold on, buddy. I'll fix it. What do you say? Okay. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay. I'm not gonna break him. Who's that? This Harmony. Yeah. And the computer? Yeah. Daddy? Mm hmm. Okay. So for sure, this is gonna need two coats to cover. But she's coming together. Yeah. A little bit thirsty? Okay. I'll get you let's get you a water, okay? I actually have a water in here, Octave. Which water? We have one in here. I need to, I need to bite something. What do you need to bite? One of these? Oh, go for it. Yeah, there's some chips left. Had to fix, I'm repairing her eyebrow. It's a little too thick and broken in places, so I'm trying my best to. Uh oh. What happened there? Yeah, let me put that right there. That's That's something different, okay? All right. Let me get that for you. There you go. Here, here, buddy. Can eat on your stool? Okay. You gonna save one for dad? Yeah. Okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> so, trying to get this eyebrow to calm down a little bit. I calmed it down too much by erasing it entirely. I mean, I could, I could just take it out. She just looks a little weird to me without eyebrows. Period. She just needs like one little, one little tiny, teeny, tiny little eyebrow. Right? Now she's now she's shaved one eyebrow. <laughs> You're watching me on the big monitor? Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That looks better. Looks a little more, a little more equitable. The eyebrow is just, it's just weird. It's just a thicker, I don't know, I can't really get it to be a super, super thin eyebrow. Right, all I really want is a little penciled in eyebrow.
I just can't seem to cut a break here on this eyebrow. What I could do is just draw one, one, that one a, a little more straight on that side, which that actually probably, that's probably the best way to do it is just draw it more like a straight. Instead of arching it up like that one is, just draw a straight one. This reminds me of the woman that's trying to put her makeup on an airplane. And every time the airplane swerves, you get like, a, she gets like a problem with her makeup. That's exactly what this reminds me of. Okay, so there we go. So now it's just, and in fact, what I'll do is I'll make the other eyebrow just, just a little bushy towards the inside too. For what, buddy? Did you make a mess? You didn't make a mess, bud. Everything looks good. You look, looks good to me. Yeah. Right. Looks good to me. I don't see a mess. You either? Good. All right, that looks better. Now to just be able to cut it clean without uh, ruining it one more time. Seems like no matter what I do here. Dad. Yeah? It's, I'm painting her hair red. Why red? Red is my favorite color. Yeah, you like red. Okay, let's see how that works. Yeah, it looks better, right? Pretty good. A lot of work to get that. Still a little thick on one side, but it's okay. It's just kind of a tough angle to work there with the, with the bang that's in the way. So I'm going to do a second layer on the hair. And I think that's part of the issue here is that that part of the eyebrow really is just her hair. So it looks a little bit odd, but that is, yeah, that is her hair. Let's put the other. Right. Did you save me a chip, kiddo? Yeah. You did? Thank you. I don't think you did. <laughs> Oh man, painting the facial details is a pain in the neck for me. I don't think I have the right fine brushes. Yeah, even then, it's just really rough. Like this is my so this is um this is my Windsor Newton uh, size one, and I could These are sparkly chips. those are sparkly chips. Yeah. I could be using the size zero, I'm but it as it turns out, the size one actually that I have has a sharper uh, tip. What was that, bud? You had the sparkling chips?
so this model is coming along. Let's, um, we can do a, I can eat the sparkling chips. Thank you. You can bite them. Yeah, those are dice. All right, so now I'm going to take this uh, heavy blue and I'm going to mix that in with the stormy blue. Because that's actually going to be more closer to the base color of the um, of the tank top. So I'm just going to mix some of that together. It's going to give me more of a like a blue gray look. It's going to look more opaque, be a little bit flatter. Okay. So I'll start painting that in. Nothing, no real, uh, tricks to this, just straight highlighting up. Still not quite the blue I want, so we'll keep, uh, we'll just do a couple of quick layers of it, and then we'll move on to the next blue. So I want to brighten up that blue a little bit. So I am going to start adding some sky blue to the mix. Something spilled on my sky blue. There we go. The sky blue will start to lighten it up a little bit. There we go. Alright, how you doing buddy? Fine. Yeah? So it kind of made a like an azure color. So we're gonna. You okay, kiddo? You watching? Come here. You can watch up there too. Wow. That's a powerful uh, sky blue. Didn't realize it was gonna take me up that high. It's a little too high in terms of the highlight. It's like I went too far. It's okay. It's okay if you go too far light though, because you can always fix with um, with tints or shades. Now we'll probably end up doing that anyway on this uh, tank top. So I might as well make it look uh, a little drastic right now. And we'll fix it. Okay, so I'm also so I'm gonna bring my draw my highlight up the tank top itself. But obviously I'm gonna Put a, let's highlight the back too.
right? Okay. Coming along. So now uh, we're going to take the pants, the leggings, which are actually supposed to be more charcoal color, and we're going to go in with that charcoal color that I described earlier. And I'm going to actually shade the gray with that charcoal color, okay? Okay. And now we're going to turn it into more of like a wash. And this is going to make the, the leggings look more like a murkier gray. Where's mommy? Mommy's upstairs, buddy. Is she not asleep? I don't know if she's asleep or not. She might, she might be awake. I'm going to come join you in a minute, okay? My son's got all the, he's getting all his toys ready. We'll do. We'll be. Uh, we'll be at it soon enough. Okay. All right. So. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a while. Right. And then. Uh, oh, one thing before we're get. Let's let's hit it with. Uh, what color is your hair now? Her hair's still kind of red. Now, what color is? Um, it's actually orange. It's actually actually orange. <laughs> now her head is red. Yeah, now her head's red. So yeah, it's a What's it, her name? it looks pretty good here on What's on camera. Name? This is Harmony. You like Harmony? Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. But I like the boys. You like the boys, you yeah, do. The boy models. The boy models? Yeah. Like who? Oh, the jack-o'-lantern guy? Yeah, you do like the jack-o'-lantern guy. All right, so now, um, can't wait to see the PVC for the other teams. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous about that. You know, PVC is, <laughs> PVC makes me nervous. I haven't really seen much of it that I really like. So, unless you're talking larger scale, like 50 mil models. I really haven't seen too much of uh, 50 PVC that's great. Anyways, here's a quick, so we're going to do a quick dry brush on the blade. And I'll show you how I do this really quick effect on a, on a sword. All right, so you need a you need white there. Yeah? What's up, buddy? Okay, we'll come. We'll go. We'll come get her in a minute. Hey, what's up, Blade Wolf? I'm gonna get mommy now. Hold on, bud. So the last thing I'm gonna do before we sign off here, because as you can tell, my little guy's getting really impatient, aren't you? You ready to play? Yeah. Yeah. Is I gotta find the armor wash. Come here. Come here, Octave. You help me find the right color? Yeah. Okay. I'm looking for a color called Armor Wash. It looks kind of like a bottle like that. That's green. Well, I found it. You found it? Yeah. Yeah, is that it? Yes, it is. It is? You sure? That's not, you sure that's not just green ink? No. No? Okay. Did you find some green ink? You did? No, I didn't. Whoa. That's, um, that's bone white. Bone white. Yeah. Okay, so, how about this? What color is this? That's red. What do you see? See it? Do you see it? No. No? Uh-oh. 
What if we don't find it? What are we going to do? I know. You don't know? What are we going to do? We're going to find it with my hands. We're going to find it with your hands? Fair enough. Oh. My fingertips smell it. Your fingertips smell it? No. My nose can smell it. Yeah? I can see. And you didn't see it, huh? Huh. Alright. Oh, I do need that. Thank you for that. I do need that. No, I think we got it. Is that it? This must be it, right? All right. So you take some armor wash. It's pretty simple stuff. And you can dilute it if you're worried. A little bit of water doesn't hurt it. I'm going to add one little drop of water to it. For you? You can't paint yet. How come you can't paint yet? That's right. You need to use the potty before you can paint. <laughs> My son knows the deal. He's got he's to learn to use the potty before he paints. Right? It's important. You know, we got to have our priorities. You want to learn how to paint models? You got you to gotta use the potty. All right. So armor wash, a little bit of water. Run that there. You can see the um, the dry brushing from the... Uh, the dry brushing the white, what that does, that leaves a nice sharp line there that holds up to your, that basically holds up to this shade. And then, you see if there's, I've got too much of it on the end of the blade, you just take your brush, wipe it off, and you can just pull it, you can pull as much off as you like, right? And then we're just going to leave that to dry, okay? So that's, uh, that's going to be it for now. I'm going to I'm going to uh, cut off the feed for now, but I'll probably kick it back on once uh, once the little guy goes to bed, which probably is an hour or so, okay? So anyways, thanks everybody for watching. We'll catch you in part 3.